Fermented foods. Fermented and pickled, is it the same? Can I just use pickled foods for probiotics? Let's find out. In food processing, fermentation is the conversion of carbohydrates to alcohol or organic acids using microorganisms, yeast or bacteria under anaerobic conditions, in other words, not using oxygen. Fermentation usually implies that the action of microorganisms is desired. The science of fermentation is known as zymology or zymergy. Here are some fermented foods to include in your diet. Kefir. Kefir is a fermented milk drink believed to have originated in the Caucasus region thousands of years ago. Kimchi, sauerkraut, yogurt, misu. Some cheeses, sourdough bread, apple cider vinegar. What are the benefits of fermented foods? Fermented foods provide many health benefits such as antioxidant, antimicrobial, antifungal, anti-inflammatory, anti-diabetic, and the prevention of fat buildup in the artery walls. Fermented foods for a healthy gut and overall health. Whether you realize it or not, fermentation is a process that's used to produce some of the world's favorite foods and beverages. Popular fermentation foods include things like wine, beer, yogurt, certain aged cheeses, and even chocolate and coffee. One of the most popular fermented foods globally is yogurt, which has been consumed in certain parts of the world for thousands of years, along with closely related kefir. Throughout history, fermenting foods gave our ancestors the option of prolonging the freshness of grains, vegetables, and milk that were available to them during different seasons. It is relatively simple to make a large batch of fermented foods to have ready to eat in your refrigerator. Plus, they should last a pretty long time due to the beneficial bacteria they contain. In fact, eating fermented or cultured foods is a most convenient way to obtain a daily dose of probiotic bacteria that support gut health and more. Studies suggest that some of the many ways these foods support overall health include improving digestion and cognitive function, boosting immunity, helping treat irritable bowel disease, providing minerals that build bone density, helping fight allergies, killing harmful yeast and microbes. Is bread a fermented food? Despite endless variations in flavor, looks and methodology, bread and wine have one more thing in common, and that's fermentation. Even your wonder bread is fermented. Bread isn't alcoholic, but the same process that gives wine its delightful alcoholic kick is what gives bread its airy texture and signature rise. People who shouldn't eat fermented foods people with histamine intolerance, people with compromised immune systems, children and pregnant women, people with digestive disorders, people on a strict sodium restricted diet, gas and bloating, diarrhea, allergic reactions. Is cheese a fermented food? Cheeses are fermented dairy products and hence the controlled production of lactic acid from lactose by lactic acid bacteria, known as LAB, is an essential step during the manufacture of essentially all varieties. Milk for cheese making may be acidified by its indigenous LAB or by using a whey culture. Is yogurt a fermented food? Yogurt is made from milk that has been fermented, most commonly with lactic acid bacteria. It's high in many important nutrients, including calcium, potassium, 
phosphorus, riboflavin, and vitamin B12. Yogurt has also been associated with a wide variety of health benefits. Are olives a fermented food? Olives are an essential part of the Mediterranean diet and are one of the oldest fermented fruits. The fermentation process takes away the olive's bitterness, making them enjoyable to eat as a snack or with a meal. What happens when you first start eating fermented foods? Fermented foods are considered safe for most people. However, some individuals may experience side effects due to the high probiotic content of fermented foods. The most common side effect is an initial and temporary increase in gas and bloating. Are oats a fermented food? Fermented oats are gaining popularity due to their nutritional value and the increasing consumer demand for health conscious foods. These oats are believed to offer enhanced phytochemical and nutritional profiles compared to unfermented oats. Is cucumber a fermented food? Cucumbers are fermented as an economical means of storage in a well-preserved state between harvests, making them available for processing into finished products year-round. Cucumber plants take only a couple of months to reach maturity and can produce many fruits. Is chocolate fermented food? Chocolate is fermented. The process begins shortly after the cacao pods are harvested. The seeds and pulp from the cacao pod are left to ferment for a period of two to seven days. This fermentation process is critical in developing the rich, complex flavors we associate with chocolate. How long does it take for fermented food to heal your gut? One small study of 36 participants showed that when people eat a diet rich in fermented foods, they have increased diversity of gut microbes and decreased signs of inflammation in just 10 weeks. Fermented foods can support a healthy gut microbiome and may improve inflammation. What fruit is fermented? Most stone fruit, such as peaches, cherries, apricots, etc. Citrus fruit also work well. Lemons, limes, and oranges are among our favorites. After fermentation, you can even eat the peel and use it in recipes. Lacto-fermented lemons, also known as salt-preserved lemons, are a must in North African cuisine. What is the easiest fermented food to make? It's sauerkraut. Sauerkraut is made by a process called lacto-fermentation. All you need is salt, vegetables, and water. It's easy to make, simple to ferment, and a seriously healthy probiotic-filled addition to any meal. If it is pickled, then is it also fermented? An easy way to remember the difference between the two, despite their overlap, is that pickling involves putting food into an acidic brine to produce a sour flavor, whereas fermenting gives food a sour flavor without any added acid. Pickling is often the least healthy choice in terms of these two foods. What is the take home? At least there is lots of data to go and analyze now regarding fermented foods. It is an awareness that you should start to incorporate these types of food into your diets. Possibly start by buying some and then look into making it yourself later. If you got some worthwhile information from this video, then please subscribe and leave a comment. Have a great day further. All the best, lots of healing.